Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'll be doing a first impressions video on the L'Oreal Paris Infallible 24 Hour Matte Foundation and also on the Somme Under Eyeshadow Base. And then I decided to just do a makeup tutorial while I'm at it. I'll be doing this look I've got right here. So if you are interested in seeing how I did this look, please keep on watching. Give my video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel and I hope you enjoy it. As you can see, I've got a lot of redness and marks on my face. So this is going to be a challenge for this foundation to see how much it's going to cover up since it is a full coverage and a matte foundation. I chose the color in vanilla. So let's just hope this is the right color. I'm going to be applying it with my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. So I definitely like the finish, it is full coverage, it is also mattifying without leaving my skin dry and I've been sitting for a few minutes now so I'm really liking the finish it has and it feels really light on my skin, I thought that for full coverage foundation it would feel heavy but it doesn't feel heavy at all. I really really like this foundation, I would definitely buy it again, this might just be my new favorite foundation or my go-to foundation. Full coverage, light on the skin and mattifying without drying your skin, definitely a go-to. So I'll just be using my Real Techniques base shadow brush and I'll start applying the under eye shadow base over my lid. I'm going to start applying the smallest amount on my lid and just work that into the rest of my lid. All the way to the brow bone. I'll then use my Sawmay Sawmay eyeshadow in color Bone just to set that. I'm going to use my NYX Jumbo pencil in Black Bean. I'm just going to start lining my waterline. Don't worry about doing it too neat. I'll then use my Real Techniques accent brush just to smudge out the bottom. Then I'll also align the top lid of the outer corner. I'll then smoke that out as well. And with the same jumbo pencil, I'm just going to go and dot it almost in an outwards V and then into the crease a little bit. And then I'll just be using a bit more fluffier brush from Alila and I'll start to blend that out just getting the basic shape of what I want and just blending it out. I'll then be using another brush from Alila. It's an angled fluffy brush and I'll be dipping it into a greyish color and then also into a light brown just to mix the two. And I'll start smoking out the bottom lash. Just going onto the top lid as well. Patting that over the color, going over the outside. I'm going to go back into the crease of the black eyeshadow just to deepen the crease setting a sharper V on the outside. If you want it to be really smoky on the outside so remember to blend it some more. Also going to move some of the black downwards onto the lid and back into the crease. For the center of the lid, I'm going to go in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk and I'm just going to pat a bit of it on the lid 
So this is going to highlight the center of the lid and it's going to create a nice base surface for a lighter color or shimmer to go on. After I just pat that on, I'm going to be using uh, the same brush I used to apply the eyeshadow base to blend it out. I'm just going to use the same brush I used to apply the eyeshadow base just to pat and blend it out a bit so it doesn't have any solid lines and it's just creating a nice lighter area in the inside corner of my eye. I will then with a flat brush go over the white with a white shimmer just pat it onto the jumbo pencil you laid down go back in with a fluffy brush just to smooth the edges out so you don't have any solid lines so that they all blend together real nice that is then the finished eye look. I'll just be adding some lashes and I'll show you the finished look. While I'm waiting for my lashes to dry before I add mascara, I'm just going to be using the NYX Illuminator to do a bit of highlighting. I'm going to go on the cupid's bow, the bridge of my nose, the corners of my brows, slightly on top, and then well, you can already see the natural highlight I'll just be adding some more so that is it for this makeup look thank you so much for watching to the end I hope I see you guys again next time please remember to like and subscribe and have an awesome day